okay so in this video what we will do we will create a login page so let's start the very first thing what i will do is i will share my screen and if you can see i will go to mit app inventor in mit app inventor i will click on create apps the moment i will click on create apps right it will ask me how i would like to log in use your google login to log in and then say continue and go here and say start new project this new project i am giving the name demo demo pet you can give it any name whatever you like now look here i'll have full empty screen now i can select it on a tablet phone right on a monitor size but i will prefer a phone size for most of us are making these applications for the phone okay so if till now if you are able to follow me now i will go here in layout mode and i will put vertical arrangement in the vertical arrangement say fill parent and here also width also say fill parent now everybody would like to ask me the question that why fill parent the simple thing is i want whatever i will drag and drop falls inside vertical arrangement so i don't want to do anything very specific and that's the whole reason i am making it fill parent and fill parent now i will go to user interface i need four things one which is an image where my chat's logo will go second thing is a text box this is the box where i will write my name third thing which is my password text box where my password will go and last is the button where i will click for sign in now what i will do it's very very important please rename your component as i am renaming you can rename them everything or anything but when i will be in my blocks here you can see right now they are showing button one password text box one text box one and image one the moment i rename them for example button one i will rename it button sign in and if i go there in the blocks you will see it says button sign in and all my students has the very basic problem to come and say where i will find this button sign in no where do it it's just the name what i gave if you have given some other name then something else will be there after doing this i will click on the image and in my earlier video i have shown you how you can create a logo right a logo for chat here i am already i here already i have created and i am putting it now oh whoa 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 it has taken my full screen which is very bad so how to correct that go to height and say 200 pixels it doesn't mean you have to say always 200 pixels i am showing you one of the quick way you can adjust things and now your picture is very much at its place <coughs> that's all about design only few names i will be changing text box one i will call it txt box name which is the name of the thing password text box i will keep as it is because that is the way a password text box is it carries my password now we will go for design how i will go here the very first thing is button sign in if i click on button sign in what should happen the very first thing is i should check how my password is working so i will go here from the maths i'll bring the equal thing from here 
I'll bring password and I will say here text and here I will go into the text and I will say password and my password I will keep it let's say very simple YOLAPS 1234 that doesn't mean you have to keep the same password please feel free to keep any password whatever you like now the moment password is selected and if password is correct what should happen I don't want to see the login page because my login page job is done so what should happen <coughs> now the moment this is done my vertical arrangement should become visible equal to logic false that means if the password is correct no more the first page should be visible now it's a high time let's call this vertical arrangement change it let's say vertical arrangement va and then i will put login page i'm keeping just this va because many of my students again still get confused that what is this login page from where it came we never created any login page so login page is nothing the very first vertical arrangement where i said fill parent and fill parent after doing this i will make it invisible because this is the thing will happen when it is invisible i should have another page which is my second vertical arrangement which i will rename as va chatting page right and again i will do the same thing i will say fill parent and width also fill parent now i am having again the full thing there what i will try to put I will try to put a list view where all my messages will be appearing. I will try to put one horizontal arrangement which will take care of my two things. One, a text box. Second, a button. A button is nothing. This will be my send button. <coughs> all the designing and everything I will do here later on we will park it as it is. Only right now what we want to achieve that whenever login is successful, I should come to this page. <coughs> now, two very, very important thing. One is a notifier. Another one is from media, text to speech. And now in text to speech, I will pick French. Many of my students say, why French? Idea is very simple. I love their accent. So for me, it's French. If you love any other accent, like say Spanish or something, you can choose that one. Let me tell you generally, ES is for Spanish, EN is for English, DE, I hope, is for Deutsch, FR is for French. I have chosen French here. <coughs> <coughs> yeah let's go back to our blocks now click on this gear thing here put else and in the else what should come if password is not correct in that case say text to speech call text to speech and write a text a text about what please answer the correct password now same thing i would like to do by the notifications notification is nothing a pop-up that tells you about what is happening so here in the notification what i supposed to put uh let's go 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 this looks good that show text dialogue message title and the dialogue is cancelable or not let's put it here now go to the message same message we can pop it up there right so command c command v here is the message command c command v here is the title now in the title let me put it um, security
So again, the question arises that, okay, would you really like to put this thing? Security breach, yes, I, can, I could have put anything. I am putting this thing for the simple, simple, simple reason to make it a bit more fun. You can put anything here. Cancelable true means when it will pop up, somebody will have the option to say, okay, cancel, get lost, whatever they want to say. So this is the first thing. Now the very first thing is, I want to do one more thing. What is that thing? The thing is whenever my first thing starts, right? Which is my, well, let's make this thing visible. So that time, only this page should be visible one. And my text inbox where I will write sign in, this should not be. Clickable. Why it is not clickable? If it is clickable, somebody, let's say, put the correct password and then he will start chatting without a name. So I will make it only and only clickable when somebody has put something in the name box that could be anything. And hint here we will give enter your name. Now, Let's quickly go here in the blocks. Before that, let me go to designer and do one more thing. I will go to sensors and I will bring the clock. A clock is nothing but a timer that keeps checking after a certain interval that something has happened or not. In this case, in designer, it is said 1000 millisecond means one second. So 1000 milliseconds equal to one second. So simple thing it should do is it will tell after every one second what supposed to happen. So let's go here and see this. And what I supposed to put here is go to control, see if if Chatting page I don't need right now. So in text box name, so text box name, text, right? Let's go here, say is empty. I'll go to control, sorry, logic is not empty. So this is a simple Boolean. A Boolean means it says if text box name dot text is not empty, what I supposed to do? I supposed to do a very simple thing. The simple thing is make my button unabled. Right? So set button dot sign in enable equal to true. Very good. Otherwise, it would not have been true. Now, this clock dot timer I will use for so many other purposes also. But right now, that is good enough for me. Now comes the next thing. Okay, if this much you have done, can we do something else more? Yes, screen one initialize. So whenever screen one initialize, what should happen? A simple thing should happen. Whenever screen one dot initialize. I will create a procedure, a procedure that tells certain thing. Uh, so first is login. So whenever login happens, whenever for the login, what should happen? This thing should happen. This thing is what? A login page visible becomes true and a chatting box page will become false, right? And now I will call this procedure login and I'll put it here, right? I could have done opposite thing also, but just to make things more cleaner, I'm doing it like that. Now, same way I can call another procedure here. Right? That thing is, I'll call this procedure CHA double T chatting. So in the chatting, what happens? This should become false. This should become true. 
and now I will rather than doing this thing I will call the chatting procedure and I'll put it here call chatting so if password is correct call chatting is there call chatting is nothing but just one step above how I have done the thing so this is all about your login page in next video we will see how we set up a firebase db and then in the last third video we will see how we will create the chat and create our app thank you